So have to be honest, you are smaller than expected. Smaller? Yeah, maybe that's you why the kitchen... You thought I was taller? Three, two, one, forty. 54. Okay, don't hate me who's listening. <laughs> I don't really like Romanian food. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> Salute and welcome to the Romaniac Show episode 8 and the first time we have a female guest. We are looking forward and we're happy about it and yeah, Fawzi gonna tell us more about the guest. Yeah, we have right here, we have Hayat Nobolsi. Yeah. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Fantastic. She is a food blogger and a social media connoisseur, I would say, of food as well. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. we're very happy to have you here, actually. Yes. Like David said, you're the first female guest that we have on the podcast. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're happy to, yeah, that you actually came around and um, that you took the chance and, uh, yeah, we're going to have a talk about what you do here in Romania, in Bucharest, and how you started and it. it. Sorry, and I'm actually the first person that is cooking, right? Yes, yes. of course. Okay. Yeah, first yeah. of many. First, yeah. Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Is that I knew it? Yeah. Yeah, tell us tell us a bit about yourself. Like your your name already tells us you have different origins. How did it in general happen? Why are you here in in Romania? Um well, I've always been to into cooking mm -hmm. because I love food very mm -hmm. much. So, mm -hmm. I think I started my food blog actually four years ago mm -hmm. uh, because my friends were always saying that you should start a food blog. Your food is so good. And I did it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have Instagram since two years, I think, mm -hmm. or three years. And yes, uh, I'm not fully Romanian. My father is from Palestine. Mm -hmm. My mother is Romanian. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah. And uh, I was born here, but after that I left to Romania and I spent, I think, four years in Palestine. Mm -hmm. And then I came back there and started the food blog. Ah, okay. <laughs> Not at four years yeah. old. No, okay. <laughs> so was it right after you, you came back, you started the food blog? Or? No, I was joking. No, because okay, I was okay. four <laughs> years old. I couldn't yeah. even write or something. Yeah. But I think uh, I've been into cooking since, so now I'm 32 I think since I was 22, I think. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I, I was living alone and I had to cook. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And because I loved food and after I saw that I also have some skills. Mm -hmm. And this is the story mainly. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess that's the first time most people are introduced to cooking. Like mm. when you move out and especially that your parents cook well. Uh, yeah, my mother. Yeah. Uh, although I didn't spend that much time in Palestine, my mother uh, continued to cook for us uh, Middle Eastern food. So this is why I think most of my recipes are Oriental, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that why? Is that how you've... I'm, I mean, I'm, that's a big question. How come your mom cooks Middle Eastern food yeah. even though she's Romanian? Because it's very good. <laughs> no, because she lived uh, there for a long time and actually she was married with him so with my father so mm. yes then you have to learn the, yeah of course yeah. especially from, from <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah of course but middle learn. eastern uh, recipes took so long you know mm -hmm. when you do anything not anything but most of them like, they take long yeah. the whole day but also romanian food i mean if yeah. you do sarmale you will have yes yeah. you will need some time so yeah yeah awesome <laughs> yeah i was i was really surprised about the fact that you weren't Fully, I know you can tell by the name mm -hmm. that you're not fully Romanian, but you do look Romanian. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is such a lovely compliment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when did you start the the blogging? Was it was it really just writing about food that you did? Yeah, at the beginning, I only wanted a food blog to just write the recipes and uh, develop them, testing them after posing them, editing, and mm. all that, all the things that you need to do for a food blog. But I didn't have Instagram <laughs> at Ooh. that time. So also, not privately or for just no. For I didn't have any. I only had Facebook on that time four years ago. What? Facebook. So I, I actually, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Instagram's been here for like 10 years. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I think I'm old school. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. only had Facebook. 
And uh, so my first Instagram account was uh, my food, my first food uh, page on yeah. Instagram. But this is not my first account, actually. It's my second one. My first one was closed. I don't want to. What did you do? No, wrong. I don't want to talk what about it. Oh, did you add no. Tate as a guest? You cook okay, for Andrew Tate. Added, now that you're saying this, I, we need to know. <laughs> I added cream in carbonara. You added cream? All oh, the Italians came for you or what? They, no, 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 no. Italian mafia just got <laughs> in the comment section. Like, <laughs> Ricardo just said, get like, it I, blocked. <laughs> get it blocked. <laughs> uh, I was kind of banned for something, uh, but I don't want to talk about it. I'll tell you after. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Subscribe to so. Romaniac Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, but that has to be crazy then. So that was already like also had a good size, and then you. Um. Or was it just like to your number now? How much do you have? Forty. I think forty k, forty one k, or something. Yeah. Was it on? Uh, no. no I you, you have now. Uh, I have now. Okay. Yeah. Then I had ten k. Wow, that's already. That's annoying to have to yeah, start. Ten yeah. is like yeah. ten you is know, like the hardest. Actually, yeah. I said then that okay, I'm like. I'm not doing this again. I mean, the people who already followed me and uh, knew or, and, and are into cooking, they were reading already my blog, so it was fine. And I okay. said, I don't need social media. But uh, one month later, <laughs> yeah. I, did it, I did it again, and uh, it just had a huger impact. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, like to, to build up two times kind of the same thing, not yeah. like different things. Yeah, yeah. And all my work and all... There were actually some recipes that I haven't... I didn't post them on my blog. I posted only on Instagram. And I was like, oh, no, I lost them now. Yeah. What? So it how was do you fully do? like deleted kind of. Yeah, how do you lose that? Do you have a, a book, like a recipe book or something? Uh, no, but I have in mind doing a book. Oh, you no. should start one. Yeah, yeah, especially when you have some reach, people know you, and they, they yeah. will love to, to, to have something like that. Yeah, I would do, actually. Uh, to be honest, I think I would do in this direction, Middle Eastern or mm -hmm. Fusion or something combined yeah. with the Middle Eastern and other recipes, dishes from other, res uh, other uh, countries. Sorry. Yeah. Do you I think... think Karen, go I, I think that would be interesting because what I realized also, especially um, this time, like I said before, I, had, I have some visit over right now, some visit before as well. And through that, I got, I had a, a dive again into Romania a bit more culturally because we visited some stuff. And what for me is something that I realized because also like my, my grandparents, my mom, they are from Algeria. So I also have kind of uh, the the origins in that direction. And Romania for me, a country that for us was before very uh, unexplored and you don't know yeah. how yeah. The, the character is. For me, it's like the gate to the east, but not just east mm. in Europe, but also beyond. When mm -hmm. you see like the churches, every, it's like a mixture of like this Austrian style in, in some cities and then the, the, the it has a touch of Oriental yes, thing. I things. agree, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, yeah. And I think there's much to discover in Romania, actually. Yeah. We have a lot of great places. Yes. Especially with the food. Yeah. 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 <laughs> do, you, do you think that's why you've gotten so much success? I mean, the type of food that you make and the recipes, are they more like the recipes that your, your mother would be making? Or are they traditionally Romanian? Uh, I don't really cook Romanian food. Not, Not that really. much. Yeah, I... I Okay, don't hate me who's listening. <laughs> I don't really like Romanian food. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I no. mean, I Get do. Off. No, <laughs> <laughs> I do like sarmale. I do like papanash. Mama liga cu brânză și smântână, if you know. Yeah, of course. Uh, Sigur. <laughs> I, I know, I, I, I love a lot of stuff, but mostly Romanian food is very heavy. And it, it is. And uh, it's good, but uh, to be honest, uh, I think... Mm, There, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, you can say. No, no, no I, I forgot to. my idea anyway. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to come to your rescue. <laughs> um, what, what I think there are kind of two different, or maybe multiple, but the main kind of kitchens or cuisines are the heavy one, like the German that I also know. Like when you had a long day of sports, you just like you want the potato and the meat, and then mm. there's like the Italian where the recipes take forever, everything, yeah. and they do small details. Same with. Uh, With uh, the 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 uh, like Med yeah. Middle East, yeah. it's yeah ridiculous. But it's fresher, you know. Yes. Mm. I, but I think uh, it is similar to Romania. What you said, y we the are similar. Yeah. Yes. We are similar. Yes. Yes. Know? Yes. For sure. 
Yeah. I mean, it's good, but I don't know. I'm more into... I, th- I think if you love cooking, these that's why people love cooking. They're more attracted to Italian food, all this more detail, small portions kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, but uh, you know, actually, I I try to stick to the recipes that I think about and uh, what I would like. I mm-hmm. don't uh, do recipes that I mean. I don't think before people will will love that this, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So it's mostly. Uh, that's me there. Yes. It's what I like. Yes. Yeah, that's the right way. And that's why I'm not cooking Romanian that, yeah, uh, yeah. that much. Yeah, because it would be a lie. And after some time, you could yeah. do it, but then you get tired and, and you're just like, what am I doing here? Yes. That's where the burnout comes. That's yes. where it comes where you're like, oh, I'm not doing this anymore yeah. because I'm just cooking for the people that yeah. I'm yeah. doing stuff for. Especially, yeah. It should be exhausting. <laughs> yeah. It is. Just, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, if you create content that you don't like, it's the worst. It's it's w- worse. It's basically like working a really really shitty job in some. And fact. you have mm. to do it. You have to do it. If you <laughs> yeah. have to, I mean, we all can. We don't have to lie if we have to do it because we, yeah. our our whatever uh, survival depends on it. Of course, and you yeah. just say, okay, I need rent. I just do these viral recipes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fry some uh, potatoes and. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's also because you're, I mean, the food that you're cooking, you're not just going to throw it in the bin. You're also going to eat it. And ah, so of course, if I you're cooking so <laughs> much food, you can't just <laughs> cook food that you don't like. You know? Yeah, yeah, true, true. But, you know, I have uh, neighbors and uh, they ah. always come to eat at my place. They can smell it. They're just like... Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> my neighbors actually are my best friends. Oh, that's oh. We live in the same... Uh, uh, Building. Are yeah, they also yeah. f- foodies, or how do you uh, say? You well, they're actually <laughs> <laughs> they, she said that. That is, it is foodies. They are foodies, yeah, but they, they are actually stand-up comedians. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Are they are they famous? Yeah. <laughs> Who are they? Marian Popovic. And oh. Nicolescu. Yeah. Okay, She's my I know best friend. Oh, what? And, and they're coming to me oh. all the time. You know? No way. <laughs> <laughs> did, how did you? Uh, that's a good question. How did you guys end up in the same building? Did you look for apartments uh, together? Oh yeah, she was living there already, and uh, I was looking for a place to move. Mm. And uh, I was very lucky because uh, the um, it's more like a studio where I live. Mm. Uh, it was available, so I moved. <laughs> yeah. be- because we wanted to be like the old times when we were little. Because we from uh, when I came back from Palestine, mm. s- from four years until I don't know eighteen, let's say we were living in the same block. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we're the same, but we're not children anymore. We're yeah. Now you guys are just famous. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not children. We're just famous now. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm famous to be. Uh, to I be think honest. you are. Uh, mm, In know. the food world, you you really For are sure. online. It depends always what. Yeah. On it's on the internet. Yeah. It's, okay. Okay, I'm famous. Yeah, yeah of course, people will know you for, for sure. Because also, I don't think you look like everyone else. So yeah, it's like f- for us more for Forza, like people, of course. Yeah. I think I think if people, it's for us. It's also more the thing of when it's us too. Exactly. I think when we are alone. I mean, in the first year, maybe yeah, more. But really, it's more and more b- black people coming to study here. Mm. <laughs> Imagine they always confused. I was like, are you Forza? Like, no, <laughs> who is this Forza that like, everyone keeps talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Romania is small. That's the thing that we realized, yeah. especially for like people who create and stuff. It's like so small. It's not many people. I'm always saying that Romania is a village. Yeah. It's yes. not, but I'm always saying this yeah. because uh, in the villages in Romania here, yeah. at the countryside or something, everybody knows everybody. Yes. Mm. You know? so but it's the same here. I think it's the same in Bucharest. Yeah, same. Yeah. And you meet also people. That's a crazy fact that I realized because for me, I, I'm confused because... I meet the same amount of people here that I would meet in the in this small city where I would go to school, which only has like 50k inhabitants. Ah, so okay, yeah. Yeah, so often you go to a mall. But I think <laughs> it's maybe because the people we are dealing with are all living in the same sector. area. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. And in this small world of Bucharest, what has being online with food allowed you, like in terms of people that you've met? Um... I think uh, the food uh, blogging, uh, I don't know how to say Space. it. Space. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's it's very friendly and very nice because we all know each other and we all 
cooperate and talk and uh, we have like subjects and of course food but yeah. also some <laughs> other stuff so uh, i think it's a very good community to be mm. honest do you guys have your own secret uh, recipes that you don't share yeah fried eggs <laughs> you have you have a special <laughs> recipe for fried eggs no but you know i mean the simplest things are not that simple mm. yeah i mean it is simple to fry an egg don't get me wrong no but, but if you have your own secret recipe then yeah yeah I want to know this. <laughs> <laughs> I like eggs. I'm somebody, I eat five eggs a day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Five eggs, eggs And I a always day. switch it. Uh, like, um, I w- I'm trying now to switch it up. Don't, um, I don't always switch it up. Now I'm eating them boiled. I used to, there was a time I, where I, did I was... Hard well. boiled or soft? How it's do you like them? Both. I like soft uh, me too. and hard yeah. boiled. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Depends on the mood. Or I can do, uh, <laughs> I can do something in the UK we call, I forget, I'm forgetting the name. I've been away from the UK for so long. So, uh, uh Pod so so soldiers. So ah, I love soldiers. Yeah, I love. What is that? We also have now. that. It's what like a um, it's a boiled egg with the French uh, French with the toast, yes. and you dip it inside of the egg. Then toast sticks, and yeah, you dip it inside. Yeah. But it's and not bo- it's not yeah, fully boiled. Do. Yeah, yeah. And no, if you add some butter to the to the yes. toast, yeah, I love it. Yeah. No, I never had. I never had that. But I saw it just uh, in videos. You can do a lot of stuff with eggs. I mean. Yeah. Uh, from all the ingredients, I think the eggs, the the egg is the most uh, most versatile. Yeah, yeah stir yeah. fry. You can add it in other things as well. You can also think in vinegar. You can cook it. Have you tried that? Mayonnaise and everything. But think about uh, about uh, the sweet part. Huh? Oh, ba- yeah, baking. The, the yeah. Oh, baking. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, incredible. Yeah. What can you do there? The foam, you know, yeah. I mean? foam, the foam. Yeah, that's the foam and the creams and everything. So yeah, 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 that's all this stuff is ridiculous. Yeah, eggs, but eggs, eggs, yeah. eggs, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good. We man. vote for eggs. Yay. Yeah, super, super food. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is actually the, that's I think the most obvious question. What's your favorite dish? This is a question that I never know what to answer to because you know so much. Because I like a lot of stuff. I cannot choose one. Recently, really? what was something that you liked recently? Mm. Besides the good burgers that you sent us as well, oh. they were awesome. They were good. They yes. were really. The okay. packaging was sick. You know, yeah. the yeah. paper. Yeah, the yeah. paper for the for yeah, the uh, burger. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did I say it like <laughs> that? <laughs> 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 like for the burger. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. No, but the burger packaging was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was you were impressed by the packaging. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> made sense. You know, it doesn't drip down. Yeah, and, and you, can you can close just it. Close it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually a good location for burgers in Bucharest. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that was the latest thing that I ate. Yeah. <laughs> but no, because I'm, not, I don't want to talk about me. Mm, 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 mm. I don't remember what I ate the last time, and really yeah. impressed so give me. Us, or know? give us a cuisine, your favorite, um, like region of the world where. To, oh no, but that's for just sure. It's say, Middle Eastern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Middle East favorite Middle Eastern dish then. And explain it to us. We might not know what it is. Oh, it's hard. This is hard. This is hard. Uh, okay, let's see hummus, but it's very basic. It's not really my favorite from all this world. But it's also a versatile one. Yeah. Too. And it's tasty and it's healthy and it, you can do a lot of stuff with it and it's, it's, it's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> but I have to think about something that I really liked. I think it's difficult because you just try so much. I mean, fast is easy because yeah, I really do. We are, I mean, we have to, if we're honest, we are people who eat basically every day. Like same thing. The same thing because we just we are students, you know. We want to save money, yeah. and on top, we we go to the gym. We just eat what is good for us, and that's that's yeah. rice, chicken, yeah, but that's <laughs> <laughs> and broccoli, <laughs> broccoli. Yeah. 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 That's uh, it's good that you're doing that, but could Even be better. <laughs> to be honest, no, I mean. Because you're doing, you're going to the gym, and also yeah. you have you want to eat right and stuff. Yeah. I could not do that. I mean, o- I also work out, but I can never, can never eat right because I like fat, but not the uh, Romanian fat, like a lot of pork and uh, stuff. Yeah. But I, no, 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 I like, like I like stuff. butter. Ah, fr- okay. fried yeah. butter. I love butter. I think yeah. butter is the best. Uh, it popped in my head. Uh, I've been. Can I say the name of the? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, it's Soro Lume. Mm-hmm. It's a restaurant. It's, let's say, a bit fancier than mm-hmm. the rest of them. It's Romanian cuisine, mm-hmm. but it's in a fine dining way. 
Oh wow! Oh, that's I've interesting. So that. they're doing small portions. It's not a place where you go because you're very hungry and yeah, you want yeah. to eat. It's it's an experience itself, and you have to uh, enjoy it. Yeah. And so you have a small plates, Romanian food, but to the next level. So I think there I ate some g- very good stuff. Really? Where is it in Bucharest? Don't ask me. I don't know. But I'm a w- ways girl. <laughs> No, is it ah. in book? Is it in is Bucharest? It in, yeah, it's yeah. in Bucharest. Yeah, ah, okay. Soro Lume. Yeah, okay. What does Soro mean? Soro, it's like sister. Sister Moon. No, Lume. Uh, Lume. Lume all. Okay, okay. But it's I don't know how to explain in English Soro Lume. Sister I really don't word. Know it. <laughs> mm, 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 I no. Sister kind. <laughs> Sister people? No. <laughs> no. Lume is like all, like like in uh, yeah. tout le monde in French. To- toate lume. To- exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Lume, yeah. 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 That sounds like interesting. You know, also where a place where we were was kind of the same is like, do you know o- Ograda? Ograda. Ograda. I know in Ograda. Barashov. Yeah, yeah, I know Ograda. There but we we tried the desserts and they yeah. use only local, really local, local. I products. know. Yeah. Yeah. They they actually they do the the. The product. Yeah. They also have a brand. It's Ograda. R- so they really? have cheese. They have ah, eggs. They have chicken. They have. It looks so much like like branding that you could find in a yes. supermarket. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's with uh, white and uh, black. Yeah. 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 I know. I know okay. the products. I I like them. Yeah. Yeah. And the restaurant and we we tried the desserts and our brush of futo and. Ridiculous. Oh, really, honestly, because when you try food, sometimes you over exaggerate, you know, and we also said to us now, okay, <laughs> we have to be more honest and be more precise. Yeah. But this one was different level. We tried Papanash and uh, Moldova, Moldova, Mucenic Moldovenesht. No. No Mucenic. No. It's uh, like a cheesecake kind of. Yeah. Pasca. No. no. Mul, mul something. Moldovanesh. It was. Um, Ah oh, no, I forgot. It doesn't matter, but it was Say in the comments. Uh, it's pl- with egg. It's really intense egg uh, taste as well. It's not a placinta. No. no, 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 no. It's it's just. Um, I think it's some kind of um, egg, eggy kind of dough, but not so much dough with mixed with sugar and stuff. And then it's just. Is it even baked? Yeah, a bit. And it then is in the fridge. It's exactly like a Romanian version of a cheesecake. Alivenci. That is Alivanka. It. Alivanka. Alivanka. Yeah, Alivanka. You, said Alivanka. Alivanka. you said Alivanka. I said Alivanka. You said that wrong in the video. Yeah, yeah but that, that's good because now we know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's made with cornmeal. I know. Yes, ah, it is. Yes. It is. It is. That's what it is. It's egg as well. A yeah, lot. I, ha- I think it has eggs. I never made uh, Alivanka, yeah, but I think it has also. Right. There was. But it's good. Yeah, I know. I love it. I, yeah. I think it's a, a typical dish that uh, came when poor times happened. They had yes. a bit of sugar dessert, and then that's how it came. Yeah. I guess. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I mean, uh, you know, as I said, uh, Romanian food is good, but if it's done by someone that really knows how to take out the fat and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. it could be amazing. Yeah, because we have the taste and we have the combos. Let's say so. Yes, yes, yes. I, I guess so as well. What I think is that they need more fine dining spots, like the one that you spoke about. We have, you know, I actually think that we need more street food. <laughs> that too. Yeah. But what kind of street food can you get in Romania? Like Romanian street food Maybe dishes. not just Romanian. M- m- yeah. You mean it's that was I'm, uh, that, okay. Yeah, this is I'm, what I'm saying. Because uh, it's hard for just yeah. Romanian food. For now, I think we have uh, shawarma. Yeah. That is a street food. You don't like shawarma? It's not Romanian, is it? No, no, no. no she's no, oh, okay, just, just in general. Yeah, just okay. in general. <laughs> <laughs> we are gone yeah. from Romania now. Uh, but actually, shawarma can be Romanian because mo- most of shawarmas are not, because uh, I know, <laughs> um. are not uh, what a shawarma should be like, but they're good. Mm, in yeah. Kovrij, we have... Yeah. Kovrij is... I, yeah. just, I was telling David that they need to bring all of these places like Luca. Yeah, Luca is amazing. To like London or to England. Yeah. We don't have. We don't have no, any of this. Same in Germany. Oh, really? We don't yeah. have that. We have normal bakeries, which are insanely expensive, and they just they just put like normal. Um, how do you say bread? They, they put uh, salad and eggs and this kind of stuff, but uh-huh. n- they are much more complicated, super expensive, and they don't taste as good as the Luca stuff. The Luca yeah. Stuff is yeah, I know. Uh, do you know Merdanelli? You like Merdanelli? Have you tried it? No. No. It's th- you have to try. Oh my god, I know the perfect spot I need for Merdenelle. Okay, stuff. no, we mm. need to eat Merdenelle. So it's like a <laughs> pastry dough, salty. Okay. Yeah. It's very fat. It's something terrible, good. <laughs> no. And it's filled <laughs> with cheese. 
and it's like this and it's crunchy and the inside it's soft because of the cheese and if it's hot oh my god it's so good it's the best thing it's like a cheese pastry or yeah it's actually a cheese pastry I don't know why I explained it so <laughs> it's like a cheese pastry. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, white no. cheese, okay? White, white cheese. cheese. White cheese, not... Uh, ah, the nut okay. fried. White I cheese. Uh, yeah. I think it's... it's Telemer, I think. Yeah, I, I've tried it then. It's the dough which is like layering dough. Yeah, yeah, and it's very Yeah, I've thin. tried it, I've tried it. Yeah. When it's warm, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my favorite. I tried it at a war, there's a ba- pastry place. Have you tried Michi from Amor? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love them. People don't know this, but we actually made a video that that was one of our yeah. first videos on YouTube. Oh, really? we, we never published. We never it. published. <laughs> we got thrown what? out of the Butcher's Hall because we were not allowed to film there. We Police never <laughs> took us away. Okay, yeah. but we, you should try it again. I mean, if we're, we are doing the food tour, yeah, yeah, we should go there. And yeah, we have to it. maybe ask to yeah, yeah, for yeah. permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to yeah. get. I mean, it's good again. also for them. So I don't know. Yeah, what, what some people their problem. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, and did you like them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah very of course. Good. It's only that we went we went during, it wasn't such a good day to film. No, it was, it was like cold. rainy puddles everywhere. Yeah. We were and outside very we're cold. We're just trying to push some, it was close to Christmas and we would yeah. go home. Oh. We're like, okay, let's film some. Beginning of YouTube, really, yeah. one month in and we had no clue. And uh, But the Mitch were very good and that's something I don't understand because it's pork. But and uh, it's not only pork. Ah, it's, it's a mix. No, it's pork and sheep, actually. Okay. In each meat, there's pork and sheep, or yeah. you can just pick different. No, no, no. This is the way you okay. have to do that is, is that, that how you get the texture? That's why, yeah. That's why you get I was the so confused. Mm, a lot of other stuff, a lot of spices. Yeah, but I was so confused because also they are so juicy, but they are not yeah. red. And for pork, it doesn't make sense because when pork is normally dry. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. The texture, when I first tried it, I was like this... I don't know how this makes any sense, the texture itself. Yeah. It's wild. It's so like crumbly and yeah. Yeah, yeah. incredibly juicy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I think those ones are the best. The ones yeah. in Obor. If you ate somewhere else. They I are. Know, we sure. try. I, I think th- that was German that the TV, first time? German TV was even there. In Obor? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The film, did, we did like one of those exploring series. They just show everything okay. around the world. And they went to Romania and they went there. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a spot for uh, people from outside uh, Romania. Yeah. To visit. Yeah. My for sure. opinion. Or maybe because it's a vibe with all yes. the. Also, West the fresh happening. food, like when you go inside that hall and yeah. you see the vegetables, yeah, yeah, all the yeah, stores yeah. around. That's the biggest market, I think, and in whole of Romania. Yeah, I think that's the. I think. I think. But I. Th- I think so as well. It's I'm very like ninety percent sure that's the biggest one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I was saying that we need more street food because uh, we have fast foods, but yeah. it's not street food, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is my opinion because I love street food. I, I really like street food. And when I'm visiting other countries, I'm like... Oh, what street food do you like? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> tell us some, Tell us one thing that, that you think could be implemented here in Romania. And For sure, know. Asian. Yeah, bring, bring Asian. Like, they, br- they will bring the crickets, I hear what? Yeah. what? I, 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 I actually have crickets at home. Right now? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you had been oh. in Thailand. No, in Thailand, not from Thailand. I've been to Austria to uh, actually to a cooking crickets. class, let's say. And we when Austria? Uh, in Austria? Uh, in Vienna. Mm-hmm. I've been, yeah. And I've been to a um, cooking class and we learned how to cook with uh, insects. Like to grind them down or to just... Everything. We made a... Like, don't remember. I think we made a cake and we made a smoothie and we. <laughs> <laughs> what about kebabs? What about I was feeling you. <laughs> <laughs> what about them just on on the sticks themselves? Could you do that? Would you still invite me after in if I say? No. <laughs> <laughs> have Have you done that? Have you tried them? Just. Uh no, no, I haven't. Okay. I, I be, you know why? I think it's a different difference between thailand and austria in austria i was like because it was a brand that does this and the the i don't know how to say in english it's everything it's controlled and the Mm -hmm. insects and uh, so it was safe but in thailand i was like "Mm, they could just pick them up yeah i don't know but anything you know (laughs) 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 and anyways um I forgot what I was one. <laughs> what I was no, but what say. kind? So, what kind of dishes did you make with these insects? Um, so we did sm- a smoothie. 
Actually, they're full of protein. I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah. we've they been really told. Are. And they, they're saying that this is the future, to be honest. I don't know Yeah, about this. Yeah, because they just started it putting into the food. Yeah, and let me say, tell you something. Everything that is fried is better. So th- this is what I was trying to say earlier. Because mm. if I would have tried the, something in Thailand... For sure, it would have been tasty because it was fried and yeah, everything butter on it, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so we made a smoothie, we made a cake, we made uh, some crickets in salt, and then you put it like okay. on the on the cake. It's like on top. It's like a cricket. No, it was. <laughs> 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 no, we we wrote something with crickets. No way. <laughs> I know you're joking. No, 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 yeah. I'm joking. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we actually did a, a cream soup with sweet potatoes and the topping was with, uh, not with crickets, with worms. <laughs> what? With worms, with, uh, was, uh, was the worms were um, smoked. No. Smoked e- everything worms. was already dead. I mean. Nothing. And who killed it? Was it killed? Like, Maybe humanely. they have a... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Did they do it humanely though? Like they didn't suffer. <laughs> yeah, because that's no, important. I could never. I could never. <laughs> really, what? I could never. A cricket. C- you stepped already on twenty in your life, maybe. Just mm, yes, but I. Oh, I know. You know what I stepped on? Uh, snails. Snails. On purpose. And or by no, ac- yeah. accidentally. And I always felt bad, so I don't like snails. It. Yeah. And they're like mushy and. Okay. Yeah. But just make sure that you cook them afterwards, and that <laughs> means you won't you won't feel bad about it anymore. <laughs> you know, you recycle. Oh, using cricket! Everything. That is the next. No, the, the that's the next one. Then, the, what are they called? What? The ones you stepped on? Snails. Snails. Yeah. What I'm wondering is for the crickets, what kind of what are you substituting it for when you're making these dishes? Yeah, because they will add that to all the food right now in the European Union. Uh, is it substitute for flour? Like I don't know, have no idea what no, how you, you can, can use it. No, no, no. It's not a replacement for something. You just put it in. <laughs> you just put it in because More you protein. like it. <laughs> really? But it tastes. No, it. they are saying that this is the future, and you should learn to cook with uh, more. Because we had no meat. That was the point. So okay, let's say. It, it so could about a re- cake though. Like there's no meat in a cake either. But yeah, true. They? they just wanted to show us that. It's you possible. can add that because it actually they weren't. Um, they were. It was a powder. But for me, it's 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 really like just taking. I don't want to sound crude here, but like taking toenails and just grinding them up into a powder and saying you can just put them in here, you can put them in here. <laughs> yeah, it tastes nice in here. You just don't <laughs> taste it, and I mean, yeah, it adds extra protein. But apart yeah. from that, is there any benefit? From it? No, it's just it's it's the thing. Trying to eat less they, meat. Yeah, I they think want to go trying. away from the meat, but still want to give us the protein. Yeah. But I'm I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. No, How not much? Me. I could never be a vegan or something. Uh, and I don't eat meat that much. I mean, moderately. It's about yeah, balanced. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Th- I think this is the way. We could we could save the planet, but I'm not the one mm. to yeah. say this. Bl- Shame on Greta. you! Shame on you! Really, <laughs> should ask Greta about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I want to know is how much protein is there um, grams per hundred uh, per hundred grams of crickets? How much protein is there? I want to know. You know, if it's something like thirty, then I'm like, yo, that's, that's it's quite incredibly good. insane big, really? like the number uh, per. Uh, 100 grams, let's say, but 100 grams in crickets. It should be, I think, something like this, maybe. Yeah, okay, but if, if, if you grind them down, if you grind them down, it, it will be the yeah. Yeah, yeah, same be, as fooling as. It could be like this. It's okay. the same as filling as. You, you have a look, Hayat. We I will guess. Yeah, I don't remember What's the your page, guess? actually. Sorry. I guess. Just ha- have a look on Google. Per 100 grams of crickets. crickets. I, oh. I have mine. We show it like in like 1 to 10. Just. Like what do you mean 1 to 10? One is like t- hundred gram, uh, ten grams per hundred. I have m- uh, okay. I, I need yeah, to think we, of so my number. So we can number. do it at the same time. I already know my number. Let's say it together. Okay. Three, two, two one. Forty. How much? Okay, but it's in Romanian. Do you understand if I say in Romanian? Oh no, just the gram. Just number. the number. Number of grams per hundred grams of crickets. Wait, this, crick, this is crick. not okay. No, wait, 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 I'm stupid. Wait. Uh, 100 grams protein. No, one 100 grams of crickets. And how much protein is in? Is how many? I'm excited now. 
eventually. It has to be really high for them to implement it. Look. How much? Hair. What? Cricket powder is just 13.2 to 20. Boo. That's not enough. It's not enough. I, you, I know. Can, no. stuff you know, I can replace it with my with my smantana, you, man. You can replace it with the <laughs> maybe maybe you can get cricket <laughs> cricket powder. You could replace or replace whey protein. No. No, it's not even high enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. They, 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 they try to fool us here. Maybe. Because I don't know stuff like this. Yeah. Because I'm not in. I just. Calculate or stuff. Let's say, let's put it into into perspective. They're saying it's really high protein. It's all right. It's It's all right. But compare it to the same same weight of chicken breast has doubled the amount of protein inside. Yeah. And for us to warrant eating these insects, I would assume that it has more than chicken breast. Yeah. No, but it is. They want to get rid of the meat. You get it. Like. Yeah, but you have to. Yeah, you have to eat so many crickets, but I guess there are so many crickets. <laughs> but, out there. but 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 I think the point was that uh, we also added some other stuff. So we also had proteins from vegetables or what we had there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So it was a full course of like just meat replacement, I, I guess. Yeah, let's see. And will you be implementing any of these crickets or worms into your new recipe? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Like sprinkle them. On Make <laughs> one. I want to see one <laughs> recipe with like some insects inside. No, I don't think. I think it would have a success, uh, but no one would try the yeah. recipe. Ma- and my po- my <laughs> main goal is to, to, to for people yeah. to really do what I yeah. do. Mm. So they repost it as well. I see. Then they tag you. That they try. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, that's nice. nice. This is actually the reason why I started this because I really wanted to let others, uh, yeah. I don't know, inspire them. Yes. Mm. You know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I've seen that. And I was, last week I've seen it. First time I was like, yo, it was like so many. And I was like, yeah, that has to be crazy because for us we don't have that. Like people don't even uh, tag us, they just <laughs> repost. <that's> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, now there are less actually. You should have uh, seen what was in the pandemic time. It was crazy. Oh, I can imagine. Everybody was cooking at home, of yeah. course, because they couldn't go out. Yeah. They wanted to do So that was stuff. it. That was it. Everybody was cooking at home. Was that also time where your Instagram got pushed? Yeah. For sure. I mean, it's for you as well. It's not just that you are like, okay, pandemic, everyone wants to eat. I need to post so much. But you're, I mean, that is a, how did the pandemic affect you since mm, you did a lot of? Um, it, it didn't, let's say. I yeah. was working that time in a farm, in farm, farm uh, in this industry. Yeah. And uh, when the pandemic uh, arrived, let's say, uh, we worked from home. Mm. And it was okay, so I had the same salary doing the same job, but also I could cook at home. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So every day <laughs> I shared what I cooked at home. Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah, actually yeah. that's good. Then. And you no longer work there. No. Mm. What What do you do? Yeah. That's a question. What I do you do? Yeah. I cannot tell you that. <laughs> Is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like uh, in the night, you just see over the bag, you know. The <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you 10 crickets for, <laughs> for <Lamley. laughs> yeah. uh, Actually, I have a very small advertising agency. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I actually do social media for others. Yeah, okay. I've seen that. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the restaurants. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And uh, also, my food blog is now a job. Nice. That's good. It's now a job. Yeah. So, I don't really have time for my <laughs> personal... Uh, yeah. Stuff. I yeah. really do work so a lot because I thought before doing this, no, I will work for myself. It will be better. It is better. Mm-hmm. Can't lie. It is better. But you work all the time. Yes. All the is. time you work. Yes. But you're doing what you like. So. It's yeah. Fine. It's uh, both has its uh, advantages and disadvantages. But yeah. I think in the end, the, the work for yourself is better. Yeah. Mm. Me too. Because you can wake up whenever you want, and I still decide to wake up at seven. So <laughs> yeah, it's good, anyway. Yeah, it's good. But yeah. if if there's a day you can just that's what I like. Then if there's a day where you yeah. really had a long evening or something, you just wake up late and then you work longer. Mm. Yeah, it. but I can't. I can do that. I don't know. My mindset is that if I wake up uh, later. I cannot do stuff the same. Mm. I don't know. I'm very productive. Productive in the first part of the day, and then late by night. 
Okay. I don't know uh, so why. This is how periods. I work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is how I uh, work. The creative part, the mm-hmm. physical stuff I can do between. Uh, mm-hmm. In between. Yeah. Yeah, the creative stuff for me in the morning doesn't work. No, no. nothing Not really for me. That's in the for morning, me nighttime. Right? It's like a yeah. because creative stuff for me is like a hobby. It's like when I edit, for example, it's for me like other people they play piano or paint. Yeah. You know, it's like chilling. It's dark outside. That's really the. But if I in the morning would sit down, then I have to be creative. My With brain coffee, doesn't work. Like, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I think it's normal this way. If you read it online or something, I think this is the way it should be. In I the think morning. No. The evening. Like evening. Yeah, you yeah. are. Yeah. I yeah. think I am. Yeah. Not normal. That I'm <laughs> the way you're, <laughs> you're just like. With I f- just wake immediately. up and bake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, I do that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friends don't understand how how can I uh, wake up this early and be productive. But I, I mean, I wake up at seven, but I, uh, I don't go to the gym anymore. I'm doing uh, at home, mm. uh, and after I start the day, but yeah. I need this so I could function and to yeah. do my stuff. So, how does a typical day with with Hayat look like then? It's amazing. Really, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> do tell. <laughs> so I wake up at seven. I uh, work out, then I make uh, breakfast, then I wash myself. I should get into details, sir. No, no. Yeah, 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 a bit more. No. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, and uh, it depends on what I have to do in that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I usually check my emails. Um, if I have to film a recipe, of course, this will be my goal. For the day. It's. And this is the whole day, actually, if I yeah. film a recipe because I need to go to order or to go to the grocery. Then I need to, uh, first of all, I need to develop the recipe. Mm. Uh, then I have to test it. First time I test it and then I uh, post it. Your neighbors it's, must be loving you. <laughs> yeah. It's sometimes they hate me when Why? I do cakes or stuff like Does this. It smell it's smell? It's too no, much. No, no, it's... It, uh, they're uh, like we we are trying to lose weight. We are trying to have a. <laughs> so healthy. you're just literally forcing them to eat <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. It's not them knocking on your door. It's you knocking on. Yeah, I've got another one here. <laughs> yeah, they actually they actually cursed me the last time when I made something very good. It uh, it's <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. It's an Austrian dessert with uh, coconut and uh, it, they're like macarons with co- coconut. Mm. They're very good and. Um, Schneehopfer. No. How do you okay. say it? Cocos. Don't know how to say it. What? No, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so I made them. Uh, I made the, this dessert and I really, I didn't want it to eat this much because they were so good and I was eating like piece after piece after piece. So I just went to them because I, w- I have the key. I opened the door and I left the dessert there and they, yeah. were, <laughs> and they called me it by night. Be, uh, it has to be, honestly. <laughs> and they were like, Fucking Hayat, don't do this to us, please. Mm. We ate them all. Don't do this. We don't want to eat stuff like <laughs> this anymore. Yeah. 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 So I was saying that uh, if I have to film a recipe, this is probably the day because uh, it takes longer when you film something uh, yeah, compared course. to when you cook for yourself or for your friends and you yeah. don't need the setup, you don't need the lights, you don't need the to make everything nice. I mean, it <laughs> does look nice when I yeah. cook also off the camera, but... Uh, not it's, as nice. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's not as film it's set. Not the, like, exactly. Yeah. It's not the same thing, uh, the setup and everything. Then I have to clean the dishes. I have to clean everything. I have to download the uh, shots. I need to edit. I need to think about the text. I need to post the recipe on my blog. I need to post the recipe on mm. social media and uh, talk to people and everything. So it, it really is a lot of work, to be yes. honest. Yeah. yeah, we can imagine. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, especially with the cooking. It really has to be a passion because if we... I think I wouldn't even like to do that once for us, for our videos. I would... like all, do, do You go, you buy all the stuff and then you try first the rep- recipe. That's the thing, you're doing it twice. Yes, and not to mention the money. <laughs> yeah. But no, this is what I like. I mean... Sometimes, I mean, most of the times it's fine if it's something that I know for sure that it will... uh, I mean, in the end, it will be anyways okay. But it's just that I have something in mind and just want to try it before, you know, Mm -hmm. to see what else it should need. There are some recipes that you cannot add stuff later. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. Where do do you buy your meat? Depends on the meat. If... I want steaks. I like uh, very much uh, the USA ones. 
and you can find them in Metro or on Freshful. Oh. Fresh full, okay. I've never heard of that. Yeah, oh, it's, um, it Flo- uh, there's a good bacha in Floriaska, isn't it? Yeah, I know that too, yeah. Uh, there are a lot, actually. But uh, because I like that specific meat, I order or I buy it from these. If it's fish, the same. It's me- Carrefour or Metro. Mm-hmm. They're go- they're Where's great. Metro here? Is it just online? I just realized. No, it's not. It's like... You only need I a business. You need a business. And you yeah, yeah, you need. Yeah. Bro, we can go there and do like. Yeah, but we've never seen it. Well, yeah, I've that's the thing. It's around. much cheaper, isn't it? And you, buy you buy a mess. Big, though. Uh, yeah, but it won't be <coughs> cheaper for you because, like, how much can you buy? Metro is mostly for Horeca and for chefs and yeah. for business to business. Yeah. Because um, when I go to Metro and I want to buy the US steak, <laughs> you have to buy like this quanti- quantity. So you're just thinking up of recipes to use it all up with? No, I freeze them or something. I think about. Yeah, them. but that's that's yeah. the thing. That's a good idea. And um, I don't know. It depends. I have a place for everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you. Maybe have to. Can can people also read that on your like? Uh, page yeah, yeah. I I always say where I get the products from. Yeah, that's mostly. Good. Yeah, and the filming you do. Yeah. And the Is it in your place? Yeah. Okay. And I have such a tiny kitchen. <laughs> Everyone that's coming at my place for the first time, they're like, oh my God, this is your kitchen? And I'm like, yeah, this is my kitchen. It's very... It does look bigger. It's smaller than the one, yeah. It lo- does look bigger. Yeah. No. I actually don't film in the kitchen. I film between the kitchen and the room because <laughs> I don't have space there to put the table. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. The power of, you know... Deception. Full, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm, also, you I'm not honest. cooking with someone else. <laughs> yeah, but I also have to be honest. You you, you you, are smaller than expected. Smaller? Yeah, maybe that's you why the kitchen... You thought I was taller? Or yeah. I, I definitely thought I thought you, you were really taller. like my really? height. Yeah. But because maybe because I'm skinny, because I hear that this a lot. I, yeah. I have 1.70. Yeah, but okay. the whole, like the whole, it's like you, you got scaled down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't mean it bad. <laughs> no, it is true. It but is it is true. true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's, I think that is the thing in general, like not to, when you see not to talk too much about uh, for celebrities, but let's say for people you see a lot on the internet, but never ah, seen before. Ah, for sure, because it's, it's, yeah. it's different. It's like sports ways, people. Yeah. You see like a, like Messi. We all know him. Yeah. We all know he's small, but f- He's still, when you will see him in real life, you're like, what the fuck? He's really, really, really small. Yeah. Really? He is small? Yeah, yes. he's tiny. Oh, wow. He's 172. Wow. No, yeah, he's about your height. Yeah. Oh, wow. But when, you know, when you see him, you don't you don't think about it. You're mm. like, he has to be, and especially for him, because he's like a crazy person for everyone. Yeah. Same with you. Maybe that's why the kitchen looks <laughs> so <laughs> big. Because <Yeah. laughs> I'm small. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not that small, I mean. No. And no, I'm you're just not as tall as yeah. uh, as I thought you were going to yeah. be. I really thought you were going to be very tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought yeah, maybe even taller than me. It. Like Yeah, same. But it's, it's, yeah, it's maybe it's, I don't know. But I'm cooler in person, so it's fine. Yeah, that at least. <laughs> you don't show, you often, you don't show, I mean, you do show your character a little bit, but you don't speak a lot. Mm. In yeah, I don't have this. I don't know why. I don't. Maybe you don't need to. You don't, I honestly don't think you do. Yeah, I think the Maybe same. no one wants to hear it. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of strange for me to just feel myself and talk to a, yeah phone mm. <laughs> you know yeah i i don't feel okay yeah anymore. but right now you feel comfortable yeah yeah, yeah. i'm okay so i yeah. think also when you're alone is different for us we are we're yeah. mainly together you know yeah it was also weird in the beginning but now we don't we don't care like it's yeah <laughs> yeah it's different <laughs> but you yeah. do a lot of like tv work and stuff don't you uh not that much but sometimes yeah pro tv yeah, do they have a show kit? Yeah, they have a show kit. Mm. Uh, no, it's actually where I'm going. It's a, mm, I don't know how to say in English, but it's like just a show mm-hmm. in the first part of the day. And yes, they have a small kitchen and sometimes they invite people to cook there. And Why haven't they invited us? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to tell them. But I think you would need to speak in Romanian. Da, I, actually, do you? No problem. Do you speak in Romanian? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah, that's it. What do you do? Care este anul care te-ai născut? 1999. I don't know. I can't say that quickly in, in Romanian. 1999. 
1997. Da, Eu bravo. Sunt, okay. da. Can I just say 99? Da. Ok. Da, da 99. Bine. Sunt din 99. Asta e, okay. e mai simplu. Sunt din 99. <laughs> sunt din... <laughs> da, like it's, it's sunt like... născut la... It came with a time machine. Yeah. <laughs> I am from 99. Păi și sună și foarte gangsta. Yeah, yeah. Sunt din, zici că e un clan. Da. I'm from 99. Yeah, it's weird. Sunt din 99. Yeah. Yeah, of course, man. We are, we are here for how long now? Four years? Yeah. So we learned a bit of Romanian. Most people say that Romanian is very easy to learn. It is. It is. You're the first person who says that. The rest is always like, it's so hard. No, the grammar. Hard. I mean, the grammar, yeah. But it I might. mean, speaking, you can just remove Speak. so much stuff. Yeah. I don't have to say you or him. I could just say yeah. whatever. Yeah. What? <laughs> da, no, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think the same. Yeah, but you you spoke from... Yeah. Uh, do you speak Arabic, actually? No, I don't speak, unfortunately. But I do understand. Young. Yeah, I was young. But I do understand a mm-hmm. lot. It's mm-hmm. very... It, it's hard for me to speak, but I understand some. Of course, yeah, when you hear that. But actually, I really want to take some classes and learn. Mm-hmm. But it's I don't know what to learn, because Arabic, it's like, it's different here, <laughs> it's yeah. different yeah, here. What kind of Arabic do I learn? Because yes, yes. it's different. I don't know but if But just you learn know. the one that your, your dad speaks. Palestinian Arabic. Mm, yeah. Is that more spoken a lot in different countries as well? I don't think so, to be honest. Oh, no. no, I don't think don't so. Learn that. <laughs> because there's some like Moroccan, for I example, it's just like yeah, yeah no, there, only, uh, no, yeah, I think there's one big uh, yeah. pa- Arabic um, Syrian language speaking. that everyone, yeah, exactly, yeah. That which one? Sorry, Syrian. One. Syrians, uh-huh. I know they speak it, and and then they have some in different the dialects. They speak the but same. there are some. some everywhere is like this. Sorry to interrupt. Every mm. everywhere yeah. is like this. They, uh, it's mainly the same language, but it's different everywhere. Yeah, so but there are some where are so, they are so extreme that they can't Moroccan. understand each other. That's one. I love Moroccan. I love Moroccan food. But they also <laughs> speak French there. Yeah. They do, yeah. They do. How you pointed at me? How did Because I know you speak French. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, somebody knows. Because you you're black. <laughs> <laughs> you look Moroccan, man. You look Romanian. Actually, my friend told me, I think you, uh, you I mean, you guys have a fan. My friend Cosmina, and uh, I told her that I'm coming to the postcat, and she said, Oh, they're great. I like them. No I way. Like them. Ah. And you know the black guy. He speaks <laughs> French. He speaks Actually, it's French, English, and she said another language, but I forgot. I th- no? no. Only English and French. <laughs> well, and Romanian. A language that okay, I don't you know speak about. Romanian. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I yeah. On it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, you, you like Moroccan, yeah? Yeah. Uh, How many countries have you traveled because of your work? Because you're always going somewhere. You just said Austria. You, you also said um, Thailand you went to. You like Mor- Morocco. You're just flexing on us. How many... How many places have you been to? To be honest, I don't know. I cannot count them. But oh, okay, I know okay. that last year, for example. But not, not. I mean, for work, I've been three times. Mm, okay. With work. But uh, last year, it was something that I really wanted to just travel and don't. Actually, all my money goes on this. <laughs> on traveling, yeah. yeah. This is. I think this makes me the happiest. So mm. I mean, traveling for food, traveling with all that comes for, uh, with traveling, uh, and uh, I think I traveled every month somewhere. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Nice. Last year, this year. Oh my God! It's the same. Yeah, you <laughs> went. You went already <laughs> <laughs> yeah. until now. You had so I need to go somewhere now in March. No, I don't think so. Until May, I don't. I really have stuff to do here. So, mm-hmm. place with the most interesting food, Thailand. What? Thailand. Yeah. And the it's also so cheap. Yeah. Street food there. Yeah. It am- must be ridiculous. Yeah, it's amazing, and it's like so many options and everything. It's so tasty, and uh, uh, at the beginning, it, it's a little. I don't know. You're a little terrified to taste all those, and I haven't tasted all the dirty <laughs> stuff that is, you can see <laughs> what's there. You can see them making it, and you're just like, Ew. yeah, 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 oh. yeah. So I tried to go to places that are, let's say, cleaner, but it's like mostly everywhere is the same. If you're going for <sighs> street, mm. I would be. That would be. <laughs> I would really like to try, but I don't think also Thai people they don't eat 
they they just eat at the places they know, you know, like the street. No, place. trust me, they eat everywhere. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they eat everywhere, and but it's like the food is so spicy that you can get <laughs> sick. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> I think that's the point of being this spicy there, so you cannot get ill. It's also very very hot and probably in general, like, yeah. So it's their uh, dishes are mostly spicy, savory. And um, um, ah, if you add lime, it's sour. Yeah, sour. sour yeah. yeah. What kind of di- like? Uh, do they have a lot of rice inside there? Yeah, yeah, food? yeah. Fried rice. Mm. I think you would love the fried rice because it has eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squim- sprinkle a, a couple crickets yeah. on there. As yeah. Well. <laughs> no, uh, uh, we're cooking. There are a lot of um, dishes that I like from there. Yeah, I like Thai food. I like Thai food. They need to bring more Thai food to mm-hmm. We have, we have, you know. Anyways, it, th- we are, we have. Really? Yeah. Some restaurants. We have two we? good restaurants, two Thai restaurants food. Really? Yeah, when, when's about restaurants, we have to be honest. We're not. No. But soon we're going to do a restaurant tour anyway. Yeah. With, with you. Yeah. And yeah, we're excited for mm-hmm. that. The, the people struggle. <laughs> what? No, I was joking. Pressure. So Is the it pressure, the yeah. Yeah, if, if you bring us yeah. to the wrong places, you have a, you have a problem. <laughs> pressure. Yeah. I will have to pay. <laughs> yeah. What? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. It's yeah. Uh, I, I really do think that Bucharest, in Bucharest, you really can find good food. Yeah, I think as well. I don't doubt it. Yeah. Also, especially in summer, what I love in Bucharest is there's so many nice places. So you just walk through a weird street. You just found something on the internet. Yeah. You just turn right and suddenly there is like a nice place. Like for me, the first time when I came to Bucharest, I had that moment when I walked to, oh, how is it called? K- restaurant, something with um, Julia. You know the, where the Julia? library? Uh, it's with uh, ice cream and stuff. No, there is uh. the library in somewhere in sector one. There's an old library, a nice house. In uh, ah, I think I know, yeah, but I Juliet I, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying, but I can't remember the name. But I know exactly what. What you're type saying. of food? No, they just have a. It's just a nice place to eat. I think they're not known for the crazy food, but it's just nice. And they had like, like um. And it's with, very tall and with the. Yeah. With the yes. Thing. Exactly. And that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and that. I was like shocked. I was like, I walked through a shitty street, and then I just turned in there, and it was amazing. Yeah. Like so you're saying shitty is, we have shitty streets in Bucharest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what he's saying is that on every shitty street, there's a fantastic restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how he's saying. <laughs> Let's yeah. see the right uh, yeah. side. Yeah, you're right. Yes, that's why in summer, Romania, it's it's not about the looks of the city, it's about the vibe. And yeah. that is incredible. Totally agree. Yeah. So would you ever move away from Romania? I don't know. I think I like my life as it is right now. I mean, I work here, I do my stuff here, but I travel a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I would move from Romania <laughs> between uh, December until April because mm-hmm. I don't like this weather at no, all. Yeah. I don't like it at all. And maybe when I will be old. <laughs> mm-hmm. But right now, no. I mean, I feel like home here. I yeah. Mean, I have all my friends here. I have everything here. Yes. So, no. Yeah, there's no reason to leave. Yeah, and I think Romania is a great place. Yeah, we do, we do because we realize that a lot of people, they say like, oh, Romania, doesn't this? They don't see what actually this country has to offer and yeah. the opportunities. Yeah, because you had the opportunity because you stayed here. Otherwise, you both wouldn't know maybe mm. that yeah. Romania is actually cool. I mean... Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to work on. Like yeah, any like other country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like roads and everything. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it says a lot that you're saying this because you travel to so many different places. Yeah. Yeah. And so you would know a lot more than maybe some other people who are saying, ah, no, just leave or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like shithole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, but, but you know, you get used to the shithole. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> no, We're not saying <laughs> Romania is a shithole. No, no, no. no really. But uh, Bucharest is. <laughs> <laughs> no. I hope my mom is not listening to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she waits with a <laughs> slipper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I think that you get used to Romania and the way it is. I'm not saying it's bad, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. But like the. We have some stuff. That's on flair. Yeah. 
Mm. And then you travel and you go somewhere and you're like, in Europe, okay, not mm -hmm. in Europe. And you're like, wow, wow <laughs> the transport is so good and the subway <laughs> and everything and wow. And they have you, phones. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> 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 and look, they, they wash themselves. <laughs> 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 and then you come back and you're like, oh, yeah, Romania, I forgot. But you get used to it again after one day. So it's like, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, but I'm I think that is even, <laughs> like, here it's the same as everywhere else. I think so as well. Everyone who comes and visits is so shocked. They're like, man, this is basically the same. There is yeah. nothing. It's a bit ugly, but thanks to communism <laughs> as well. I think it's, I think it's yeah. not. That's the communism. But I think that's, that's why people, Romania. But that's, I think that's why people are coming here, because they want to see the buildings and yes. everything, you know? Yeah. And yeah. it's not the whole of Romania. No. It's literally, like I think it's Bucharest. West, yeah, it's, it is Bucharest. Yeah. True. The true, rest, true. of course, as well, especially I hear today, when you go a bit into the Moldovan part, there is also so crazy communistic oh, okay. buildings. Yeah. But when you, for example, go to the West part, man, it's it's Austria, but just warmer yeah. and more beautiful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's my, my favorite part of Romania. What's your favorite city in Romania? <sighs> I would say Bucharest was because I'm After leaving Bucharest. him, but okay, Cluj. Cluj, okay. okay. How is Cluj that and uh, what is near Cluj, you know? Yeah. Eva, yeah. all of that. All of it. And the mount, I mean, there are more hills there. But, yeah. uh, no, I like that, that as well. I like also yeah. the, because when we traveled there, we were like, this is more the, they have more the hill kind mm -hmm. of uh, landscape, but also when the sun goes down, everything, ah, it has beautiful. a different color there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It is nice. What do you like the most in Romania? What uh, city? city? Yeah. For me, it's Oradia. Oh, it's beautiful. Oradia. Really, yeah. really good. We, I mean, we've said it so many times that the viewers yes. are like oh, tired, but it really looks like a movie. I know, set. Yeah. yeah, because you know it. Uh, it was uh, redone, if I can say yeah. like this. Uh, I think five or six years ago, really? it wasn't uh, always like this. Yeah, yeah. It, but they invested so much. You see what you can do when you really. Work invest and do yeah. something because I know already it's yeah. very great now. Yes, they painted. Uh, that's exactly what I said when we came in. I was like, this feels like they painted all the buildings yesterday. Mm. They are all. That's what it, why it looked so unreal yeah. because you never see that in any city uh, yeah, in yeah, my yeah. life. Yeah. The grass is freshly cut everywhere. The streets are couple, clean. Yeah, the streets are all with cobblestones yeah. and per, you know when you walk in Bucharest, uh, older men there are like five pit holes. <laughs> yeah, no. And mm. there it's just perfectly where the cars drive on. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. And I think I like Cluj as well, but that day we didn't explore Cluj. We need to go ah, back to too Cluj. Too bad, you yeah. need to go. I think after Bucharest, it's Cluj in terms of yeah. uh, food, Horeca and really? restaurants. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I can imagine. It's it's like a, a different... Yeah, like I thought Brasov or Sibiu, because Sibiu Bucharest. people are also saying should be... Sibiu is nice and everything, but I think it's after Cluj. Okay. We, yeah. we went in Cluj to, um, to the Romanian restaurants, the best. Ro, ro, Roata? What? Rata, I don't know. No, I don't know. I think it's, it's called probably not. We filmed it's it. one of the best. Yeah, we yeah. filmed that a food tour, a Romanian food tour was really good. And it's oh, that's the next one. It's you go into a side street. It's just yeah. basically some gardens everywhere. The cars are parked. You're just like we were like we are definitely wrong. And then you just suddenly it's in like in an old Romanian house and they have in front of the house like mm. um they have like how do you say grapes growing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Basically yeah. like yeah. 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 And yeah, that, yeah. that protects you from the sun, and then they have like nice tables outside. They have yeah, cats running around as well. Yeah. 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 It was Very really nice. good. Nice. And what do you think about <laughs> It's like I'm holding yeah. the podcast <laughs> now, and you are my guest. <laughs> you know, what do you think about the people from Cluj? Like uh, the difference. Have you noticed the difference between people in Bucharest and people in Cluj? I, I, could, I could tell with the younger generation that it's, it's more like laid back. More hipstery, yeah. I guess. But we were only there for a couple of yeah, hours. Yeah, for one so basically ah, one okay, day. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. But now you really need to go yeah. back, really. Yeah. yeah. Really. I think we can tell the difference between Bucharest and outside. And everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Because they are they are definitely different, but it's normal. Capital people are more Yeah, for sure. Stressed it's city and life and, it's and always, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Then I think we had a great talk with you yeah, and we could carry on for hours but yes. i mean you, you <laughs> i was saying okay, i know you're gonna give the high five like <laughs> 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 she's there for like a minute like no <laughs> <laughs>
Please cut this part. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be lame on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted. I just, <laughs> I just saw your reaction. You were like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I was like, "No, let it, let her wait a bit more." <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I think um, I'm also looking forward for future videos. Like we also said yes. that we're gonna do a food tour, Bucharest um, street food tour more. That's what we would like because you are the expert of that, and we really want to to see the best okay. that mm -hmm. the city has to offer. And yeah, we will see where this will bring us. Maybe some cooking challenges, whatever. We cook some Romanian as well. We can teach you some if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some life, some yeah. Okay, yeah. I will buy 20 eggs. It's <laughs> that should that should be okay for the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, perfect. Guys, also check out the socials. Do you want to tell us yeah, about Yeah, plug anything that you've yeah. got going on. Maybe. Your mm. Instagram anyway, we will put for sure. No, to be honest, I have nothing to say. Your blog? Uh, it's hayateria.com. So, okay. if you guys want fantastic food, Romanian, not really much, but just really good food, especially with influences of Middle Oriental. Eastern. Yeah. yeah. Check in the description below her. Instagram will be there. Also, the link to the blog will be there as well. Guys, yeah. looks looks really good. Yeah, we see it every day, and for us, it's really sometimes. I would like to unfollow to not get hungry all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can root. No, it's okay. We'll no, we just, you're up we just unfollow. We just unfollow. I think you will unfollow me after this podcast. Yeah, let's. <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah, but anyway, guys, don't forget to give this a like if you're tuning in from the second channel for Maniac Life. And for all the people in the audio apps like Spotify, Amazon Music, mm -hmm. uh, iTunes, don't forget to leave a review. Yes, please. And yes, that was us from The Romaniac Show. Tuning out. See you next time. Love it, And ciao.